Good morning everybody and welcome to the Vintage Oaks. I am on my way up to a field I want to look at because yeah, I think I want another field. Not another field but a field more so we're gonna drive up and take a look at that. I hope you're all doing well. We are in March the 1st and the rain is just deep coming down so yeah but i think here 10 a.m i think it will be a, a better weather such to say uh, do i need to no nope, i don't need to go in there <laughs> that's my field i hope you're all doing well guys welcome to my new subscribers when you see this the frugal millionaire is done I have completed the series and now I only have this until my next map will arrive on Mudhub. I don't know when that is gonna be so um, this is not the way into my field not my field but the new field hmm I don't know where to enter that field but anywho, I will take a look here. Uh, this is not it. I don't know where to enter that field, but we also have this field here. Mm. But I want the other field. I just have to look into where to enter the field because I actually don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should put up the minimap. Okay, so where am I? I am right there. Okay. Mm. Oh man, I have to go all the way back again. I can see that. Well, that is what we're gonna do, right? Luckily, we have no traffic here. <laughs> so, I just saw this morning that the chickens have almost no more food. So, we need to give some food to the chickens. And we also gonna give the sheep some grass. So, they are all done there. And I just come to my mind, I do not have any food for the chickens. Hmm. Okay, so we need to take care of that. I have to go in here. I can see that. Yeah, it is field 24. And there are... Mm, soybean in that field. That is the reason why I want to buy it. Because I think we can sell it with a good profit. And when we buy that, I have to make all the auto drive us down to the field I think it is here yeah it is here this is the field guys I think this will be very good to the farm so the price is it is 10 hectares and the price is over 700,000 and I cannot see how much soybean I will get from this, but I have made the decision. I'm gonna buy this field, field 24, right here, and farmland. As you can see, the area is 12 hectares, so 743,000. We're gonna buy this, and I don't have to do anything. On the field and we got soybeans ready to harvest in September ideally I want the field that I could you know mm, I should have put it I was looking for a field that I could see now but <laughs> now I have bought this but that's okay so we have actually not that much field work to do here in March at all I think we have to go to mm, let me just check to April then we can 
plant some corn and seed some soybeans. And that is the reason why I want to give all my animals some food now, so we can concentrate us about the fields. Because it is two big fields we want to plant and seed. So, yeah. And I have to configure my new trailer for my truck as a flatbed trailer because I have sold the other little trailer so we can move all the wool up to my... up to my shed here. And we need to do that. I just want to take this trailer with me down to a tractor. So we can... Oh man, now do it again. Man, that was a mistake, you know. I'm gonna pack the trailer right here. We need 6, 12... I need to buy 30,000 liters of... Weed. Man... Okay. Well, I have to do that. But I think I'm gonna take the truck. And then I'm gonna buy some food. Oh, that's not good. It was a little bit of a bummer that I sold all that chicken food, right? So... Up at the shop, I'm just gonna reset this just to be sure. Up at the shop, I can... Mm. Oh man, I really need to buy a lot of chicken food. Is there any place here on the map that I can buy directly? As a, you know, in, in bulk or something like that. I don't know. Wheat, no. Buying. Sorghum. No. Well. I have to do that. I have to do that. I think I'm gonna buy. I can do it while you are here. So, we have to look into... To this okay it is there is no other okay so 1000 liters for 1400 and yeah we need to do this and then I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy like this. That's 22,400, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna drive up to the shop and I'm gonna load all the wheat up there so I can feed the chickens. And when we come back to the farm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. reconfigure this trailer so we can drive all the wool up to my shed. And then I think we're gonna move over to March so we can do some seeding I really want to make sure that you know that I have a complete auto drive rule on this map here on my discord free to download and it works perfect even with this truck here I have no issue such at all Auto bypass driven all the way up to the shop. And that is perfect. And as I said, I will leave a link to my Discord down in the description. So you can use this auto drive on the map here. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So I have almost 
build this up now and yeah that is 16,000 liters so that will probably give them some food for quite some time even though it was expensive but that was a mistake that I did I must admit that but I don't think we are lagging any money at all and there we go 16,000 liters and as you can see here now I am here up at the shop right and if I just gonna take auto drive here I got all the courses here so it is actually quite nice and I can just say right here I got all the folders here and I can just say farm of course I have my fields and my farm that is a special setup and some of it are not there but all the roads all the cell points all everything like that is here I do not have all the fields because after my opinion I don't want all the fields I just want the fields that I use so that's why I am doing this myself so like that he would drive down to the farm and now with all the wheat And that is good. I am a big fan of auto drive and cosplay and beacons. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I am and I use auto drive a lot because I think it is so clever and you can have multiple vehicles to drive around the map. But I prefer to do the auto drive routes myself because I think yeah it's more nice when that works and then i can do it the way i want it so go and get the file on my discord it is under the vintage oaks if you want to use it of course that's up to you please let me know down in the comment if you have used my auto drive here on the vintage oaks already i would like to know that and please like my video and subscribe to my channel i'm gonna drive this back to the farm and i'm gonna unload the food the chickens maybe i just want to show you a gifted food for the chickens yeah i think i'm gonna do that and after that we're gonna sleep until april and then we can start the seeding and the rain has stopped so that is very nice i've just changed the course a little bit because i of course have the how to drive down to chickens so he will or she she will drive down to the chickens so we can unload down there that is nice and I'm a little bit excited to see if that is manageable for the truck to get around there yeah I think actually that is so cool nice whoopgee <laughs> And then she is arrived and I have to back up a little bit I think we're gonna tip side to the left and there we go that is nice the chickens they have the food now and as you can see in here I think I'm gonna wait with the sheep. yeah that is good the sheep they are okay okay for now at least so when you see me again we are in april and then we gonna move all the wool and we gonna see the fields it is a big job i'm gonna sleep right here
Good morning. We are in April. The time is 7 a.m. And I have prepared the trailer down here. We got a lot of wool. And we can sell all the wool in... I think it was in May, actually. So next month. That is good. And then we're gonna put on... Not put on, but we're gonna also take some bales. So we can feed the sheep when we have loaded all this and as you probably already know I am not the best at this but I do hope the trailer just will take it because it is an outlook trailer just like the other one but I don't know actually how it will work yeah that is good I am actually satisfied with that because then it is a little more easy to do this and we are done I'm gonna tap to the truck because I have a little issue with regards to the auto load trailer I should probably know from the frugal millionaire if you have seen that series but that's the way it is and we're gonna turn off the engine and that was the wrong way I think no probably not <laughs> there we go we're gonna drive this up to the auto load sh uh, shit and then I'm gonna also um, take out some bales I think yeah and then it is time to seed. We are almost mm, 20 minutes. We are over 20 minutes into the uh, episode. But that's the way it is. We have to do some things here on the farm as well. Oh, that was not good. I also need the last. And then I actually don't... Uh oh, now I have to go out. Hmm. Yeah, that's the way it is. If I'm going all the way around, then probably I can... Yeah, that was good. Hmm. I cannot remember where it is. There we go. We're gonna get some... Bills. I think we're gonna take tin. Yeah, I did that. And then I'm going to go all the way around here and up to the truck. Like that. And then we can take the bales. I think we need to go on the other side, otherwise I'm just going to unload them again. And here we are. The last job with the telehandler today. I think we have plenty of bales here maybe then some so that is good also that thank you and then oh there is a little pole in the way here maybe I can do it anyway oh <laughs> he says It's a little bit heavy. It's a little bit heavy. I have to concentrate me guys. The steel handler here is just so incredible nice. I do like it a lot. So now the sheep are full. That is good. And they have two bales in Two bills extra if you can put it like that and that is good and 
Can we just do this? Yeah. Because I am Farmer Mike, then I can do it. There we go. Tight fit, but it fits. <laughs> so we're gonna take some tractors, four tractors, four seeders, and then we're gonna start the seeding of the field 62. We're gonna turn off the beacons, the lights. There we go. And I'm gonna tap away from this because, yeah. Otherwise we're gonna have a glitch and we don't want that. I'm gonna take all tractors. I'm gonna take those four here and I'm gonna set up the cosplay with the cedars and then I'm gonna see you out on the field. And the last tractor is all the way here, so we can start to seed some soybeans, finally. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know guys. And we have to come all the way down here because I've set the other tractors down here with auto drive and they are stopped down here. So, and this is uneven ground. That's for sure. The last tractor is just in front of me. Ar arriving right now. And man, it is uneven to drive here. I can hardly drive. There we go. We're gonna go in here. Do you want the beacons? There we go. And then we can just make the course play together. We ate job. We are on field 62, but we need a different course. We need four tools and we're going to make two headlands. So that will be eight headland in total. And we're going to go with smooth corners and 10% in headland overlap. And we're gonna go longest edge. I think we are good there. Should we skip? Yeah, I think we're gonna skip one and we're gonna generate that course. I want to drive this way here, but they are not doing that. Um, manual. And then we can go. Cannot remember how to do this. Mm, yeah, we can go like that. That is okay. There we go. And we're gonna, yeah, they can start on left two. That's okay. We're gonna copy the course. And then I'm gonna set all the other tractors up. And I'm gonna see you in a little moment. And here we go, this is the last one, starting up on field 62. Yeah, so the Cedars has a max, max speed on 18 km power, but I set it to 15, so I think we have to count with around 2 hours of work here on field 62. We got a floating gear up there, now it disappeared, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if we got enough of everything here, but I think... That is incredible, so let's check on the others. I can see it has not horsepower enough, it is lacking some horsepower. And that is not good. So maybe I have to get the big 9880 out on the field instead. 
Yeah, I think we have to do that. This is not good. This is not good at all. Man. I think we have to get the big tractor and replace this. Yeah, let's do that. And here we go. Let's check here. We have to stop this. I'm gonna drive up to here and we can pull up this menu here and do like this and detach and put this away. gonna take this I'll stop the engine I don't have to do that and there we go we got this drone 9880 here we just check the diesel on the field instead that was much much better It pulls this like butter on a bread, no problem such at all. That is good. So we're gonna take this fellow here. And I think we have to go out on the road. Totally realistic. And then we're gonna set this to, to the farm. Let's do that. Like that, I have to turn off the turn signals and farm, farmyard and go. Now it is on the way. Yeah. Finally, finally, and again, finally. We are here right now, that is good. Awesome stuff. And then I'm gonna see you when we are done. So the first tractor is done, the red case and the others are just chunking away the big, the big Ford, where is it, over there, um, it is not good for seating because it's, it is stuck in the gears, that is the reason why I bought the new one, as you saw on the thumbnail, and we need to reset this. There we go. I have the new tractor over here because the new Ford 
has to take over the Cedar and then the 9880 can um, roll this field here, so that will be the best option, I think. And I'm gonna drive up here and then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, as you can see, we have not used that much fertilizer seed. We should actually be able to um, do the other field without any problem. So I think I'm gonna, there is the new tractor and yes, it is. Mm, the same as the other 8830 I have, but this has actually 300 horsepower, so that is very good. And this one here has to go to field number 26, and that is the way we go. Yes, we have this big old tractor here. And it drives 45. I don't think the other one is only drive 40 kilometers power, I think. So now I don't have to drive that all the way back there. This one here is that done? No, not yet. We're gonna reset this as well. So we're gonna see or rather we're gonna plant the 26. Maybe I'm gonna save that to the next episode because um, the way this episode here start was not the best. I think I well, I prefer to have some field work in the beginning as well. So yeah. We got one that is done, this one is done, and 50, and yeah, and go to field number 26 as well. There we go. And this one is done as well, and then it can go to field 26 as well. Did I stop it? Yeah. <laughs> I did. Now we go. I fold it and field 26. Yes. And then we only need the board here. Now as you can see it is stuck in the first gear at 10 11 kilometers per hour. That is not ideal when they have to drive, you know, many tractors together. So Yeah, that is not good. And I don't know why this has have used that much fertilizer, but the very good thing about this is that we got the chopped, uh, chopped straw mud, so we fertilize with the straw, and then we have fertilizer in the cedar, so we don't have to fertilize at all. That is a very good. And I think I will take over here because I can shift the gear manual. There we go. And we can drive by here. I think I'm gonna set the GPS. Oh, so we I know we're gonna see everything here. There we go. And we can abort this just like that. And then this has to go to field. No, not field 26. Oh, we are missing a little bit there. So I'm gonna turn around here and then we're gonna take it. And we're gonna lower here. I don't know why this manual gearbox is tend to stuck sometimes on tractors, but... There we go. We're gonna drive up to the new tractor. And then we can... 
switch over to the roller instead and then the new fort can get this cedar here now we go it's okay that it is stuck in in a gear or, and and then it doesn't bother me but when they are multiple tractors that have to be done at the same time then it is not good i have a board Boss play a couple of times and start it again then it will oops <laughs> then it will change gear but yeah this is a bad angle there we go And then we can roll this field and uh, we're gonna do it the first waypoint like that we're gonna come back to this but first of all we need to get this over to field 26 i think there is some kind of traffic chaos over at field 26 but let's see that and this one we have to change to corn as well I've not done that with all the others, but some of them, yes. And I also bought this weight here, and then we got twin wheels. As you probably saw on the thumbnail, I think I'm gonna use this on the thumbnail. Wheel 26. There we go. Look at that. Amazing stuff. And as you can see, we got a little bit of chaos over here, so we're gonna take them into the field so they are ready for the next time and we got corn here there we go we're gonna stop the engine and then we're gonna take this fort here and we have to change this to corn as well there we go we're gonna get quite a lot of corn out of this field here I believe and the case ah, where are we there we are and this is also set to soybeans we have to change it to corn like this And then the last fort is arrived in a minute or so. I don't know which direction he will come from. Probably down here, I think. And he will come out from this. I don't know where he is. Yeah, it must be here. And certainly it is. It is arriving right there. Amazing stuff. We're gonna go on board here. Yeah. Yeah, quite cool this. I think it was good to put twin wheels on here because... Mm, then I can know the difference between a 250 horsepower and a 300 horsepower so that is good all three seaters are set to corn and ready for the next episode April the 2nd just like that and then we are back at the rolling and we are rolling I think yeah we are nice and then the, the good thing here is when it is rolled then it is done no further fertilizing or anything like that but we have a fertilizer spreader for the free grass field that we got and i have actually an idea that i want to mow the grass today with the new mowers but the grass is not ready so that must be in May, I presume. 
yeah and as you can see here no problem 15 kilometers power and yeah but i don't know what is wrong right there but and we have a time estimate here on two hours and eight minutes it is some big old fields this that's for sure Just in ju just a little bit moment, I have the thought I thought thought <laughs> that I have to sell this because it was very bad that it was stuck in the first gear, and I found one in mud hub. Uh, but you know what? I really like this thought here, so I'm gonna keep you. Yeah, that's for sure. For now, you know, plan can change. <laughs> yeah. And we got the new field with soybeans, but... Yeah. When is that ready to harvest? I cannot remember that. Soybean... Yeah, okay, so... September we can harvest the new field and September next year we can harvest this field 62 and we gonna plant some corn April the 2nd and then September the 2nd they should be ready to harvest no, you know what soybean will the soybean be ready this year hmm, I don't know we have to look into that. I cannot remember guys right now, but yeah. That's the way it is. But I don't know why. I thought this should drive a little bit faster. Is it only 15 kilometers power? Yeah, perhaps. But that is also somewhat fast with that big of an implement, that's for sure. And my silo is empty and the sheep are good, the chickens are good. We can just concentrate us about field work. That is excellent. Very cool indeed. Yeah. This big roller and this big tractor looks actually quite tiny on this field. It is a humongous field. I have actually thought about a thing. I would like to, to know that from you guys down in the comment. If you have seen this, uh, this much of the video, then I would like to know, should I um, split this field 62 up in two fields? because yeah it is big as beep but and yeah you know what it, it just takes so long time to to do this if i get an answer from one of you or maybe more then if i should split the field up in two we're gonna do that after the soybean harvest if i sh not should split the field up in two then i wanna buy some more equipment maybe one more roller and maybe two more cedars and so on and so forth because it takes a very long time that's for sure and we're doing quite good also, money-wise, right, right now we only have 101,000, but imagine when we can harvest the fields, uh, especially the new soybean field, we're gonna get quite a lot of money out of that. Yeah. So, that is awesome. Oh man, it's dirty. We need to wash this after this rolling here. 
Also the cedars and the other tractors, they are dirty as well. And the canola field over there, it is also very soon ready to harvest. I'm considered to have one more combine. Maybe, I don't know yet. We got the new Veltra combine on Mudhub. I would like to try that actually. Yeah. And we have done this quite a long time and we have not done one headland yet, so it will take some time, that's for sure. It is now exactly 15 minutes since we saw each other the last time. And it is a she. She has just started to... Oh, this is the third headline. Yeah, that's okay. So, this is amazing. We have one last job to do today. And we cannot do that from here because I have parked all my vehicles. And we're gonna go into this. There we go. And uh, out. And then, sorry for the lagging. Uh, that was not that bad. But I will customize this from cover. Oh, I can get cover. Oh. Yeah, I will have a cover. Uh -huh. There we go. The, the reason why I'm doing this is because when it is not in auto load mode, then it will not lag for me when I walk here. And look, we got a cover. Man, that was good. <clears throat> so. Yeah. We got three combines. Yeah. I will look into that. But. We need to close the gate. That is the job we want to do. You know what? I'm just think we're just gonna take the telehandler because we got a full pallet of wool and then we can take that up to my shed. I think we're gonna do that every day, every morning. Perhaps we're gonna take one or two pallets up to the shed because then we don't have those big job to do. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it like that. And yes. Just like that. Yeah, then we can do it like this and um, we just gonna close the gate now because I forgot that later, not later, but earlier. <laughs> I forgot that later. <laughs> yeah, that was good. And one thing I for sure gonna buy, that is one more corn header for the big field with corn. We're gonna harvest later this year so we can use at least three combines for that there we go and we're gonna just put it in here do we have to be let it go yes that is very, very, very good. This JCP telehandler here, it is my favorite telehandler overall. I think it is so cool. There we go. And 
and I hope that we have food enough for the chickens in yeah over there because I think we're gonna no we can put this in here oh, actually because um, I don't want to buy any more food then I just have to remember not to sell all the <laughs> the grain they need I don't use this at all. So, should we sell this and make some more space in here? The fence, I don't think I can remove the fence from here, but then I'm gonna do that in another way. No, green storage shit. I don't. Yeah. Hmm. Should we do that? Sell this? I'm gonna get rid of all this. We can always place some new because I actually like when we got some garbage. Oh, I did it. I did it, guys. So I'm gonna remove the fence in Giants Editor and then I will show you the final um what it looks like before we gonna end this episode here and this is how it looks like the shit is removed the fence is removed and then i've just put some grass in and a little tree <clears throat> a big tree so yeah I like it better this, uh, more open if you can say it like that, I really like this, so yeah, I don't know the, the glitch, glitch here, um, yeah, I don't know what that is, maybe we can, maybe we can just put some grass right there. I think that is good enough. Yeah. Thank you. Now you don't see that much, so that is good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to use this yard here a lot more now. That's for sure. And then I have put my cone headers in there, and um, yeah, also the car and the trailer there for now at least. And then we're gonna put this actually we can see this now how it will park i think this was the one that has some problem i cannot remember let's see and there we go i do love this view feature here it's a lot I think it's quite cool. There we go. Cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you like this little new open area here. And I do hope you like this episode. Please let me know down in the comment. And take care of yourself. Thank you for watching and be safe out there. Bye bye.